Hey, my name is Aries, and I'm documenting my journey to get fit-ish. One of the ways I do that is by following alternate day fasting, and sometimes things just don't go to plan. Okay, so this past week I had this kind of crazy but kind of cool like plan. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot about people doing rolling 72s, which is essentially three days of fasting. They eat one meal and then they fast again for three days, which to me kind of sounds crazy. Not the fasting for three days part, but the eating one meal and then doing it all over again. That's what gets me. So I thought, how could I maybe do this or at least attempt to work towards something like this, but make it my own? So I thought, okay, with the plans that I have this week, I could fast for two days, eat for an entire day, fast for two days, and then still be able to eat on my weekend. And that sounded perfect. So I set out on a plan to fast on Monday and Tuesday, eat Wednesday, and on my Wednesday, I wanted to eat a completely vegetarian day. And then uh, fast again Thursday, Friday, and then be able to eat on Saturday and Sunday like my normal week weekend. It all started out fantastic. Monday went by, it was a great fast day. Tuesday went by, also, an easy fast day to get through. I was thinking this week was going to be amazing. Wednesday morning rolled around. I didn't even want to eat, but I was like, no, I have to stick to the plan because the plan is the plan. And if I don't stick to the plan, then it's all going to be out of sorts and my weekend's going to fall apart and it's not going to work properly. So stick to the plan, Aries. So I stuck to the plan and I did break my fast after about 62 or 63 hours um, and I ate three vegetarian meals. Not vegan, there was still cheese because I love cheese, but I just wanted to cut meat out for the day. We do um, chef's plate meals and I try and make at least one of those meals vegetarian every week. But we also had a friend give us an extra HelloFresh uh, meal that they had an extra of. So we ended up with three uh, vegetarian meals in the house. Um, and I figured, you know what, let's just, let's just do a whole day of it. And that went fantastic. When I weighed in on Wednesday morning before eating, I was at an ultimate low in this round of losing weight of 215.1 pounds. I was so excited. I was like, this week is going amazing. It's going to be a great like experiment. Wednesday or Thursday morning after eating my vegetarian meals, I woke up and I decided to weigh myself again to see what would have went on on a day of eating. And to my surprise, I was only up to 216.8. So I'd only gained about 1.7 pounds after three full meals, a couple of snacks, teas, like I had a full day of eating. So I was very, very excited about that. I started my fast and I got about 16 hours in, maybe a little bit more. And all of a sudden, my body said no. My period came early. I was experiencing intense cramps and I was at work. I also had a trainee at work who was learning to do my position in their very first week. So that takes all of my attention to make sure that they're not doing anything wrong. Also to help walk them through every step of the process. And I had no attention to give because I was in so much pain that all I could think about were the cramps and how bad it was and the fact that I don't want to take, I don't like taking ibuprofen on a good day, but I don't want to take ibuprofen on a empty stomach. Also, it just was, I was feeling 
off and nauseous and gross. And we ended up having a break uh, during the shift. And I ended up making the executive decision that it wasn't worth trying to push through the fast for the plan when I was in this much discomfort. So I broke the fast early. I ruined the plan. And you know what? That's okay. Sometimes life just gets the better of you or gets the better of the plan and you just have to roll with it because it's not worth pushing through and being in more discomfort than following the plan. So I was able to eat and then take ibuprofen, which definitely helped, and I was able to get through the rest of the day. The following day, I woke up with an extreme headache. So I had at least thought, okay, well, if if I break my fast today, I can just fast tomorrow. And yes, it's not the two days back to back, but it's at least a fast day before I go into my weekend. I woke up with a headache and I was still in intense cramps. And I thought, you know what, again, it's not worth it. So I ate healthy meals. Um, now to be said, when I broke my fast the day before on Thursday, I did not eat healthy meals. I went, I got uh, a burger, which I never get. And I got Chinese food, which I almost never get. So I didn't break the fast well. And then, yeah, so I ended up eating better meals on the Friday. And then I went into my weekend and I had a migraine, a migraine that lasted, um, Saturday, all day Saturday to the point where I couldn't go to Easter dinner. Uh, It still was around Sunday. Uh, It still was around Monday. Uh, Yesterday I had just a normal headache and now today I'm finally feeling somewhat normal. I know it's, uh, it's been a lot. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and say how the week went. Uh, I'm definitely not at that low of 216.8 anymore, especially after four days of eating, four days of my body hating me. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. But I thought maybe I could attempt the same game plan of two days fast, one day eat, two days fast this week. But already that's gone to shambles. But we can talk about that next week after the week's over and we recap it all. But... The moral of the story is sometimes things don't work out your way and it's okay. You just got to roll with the punches, keep on going. I don't think of it as a failed week or a, a, you know, loss of a week. Uh, I definitely learned that yet again, I can do another two day fast, a 62, four, four hour fast and still feel like I could continue fasting, which is pretty awesome. So that's three of them that I've done so far. And I'm willing to do them again. I also still want to try and work towards that 72 hour fast window and see what that's like. So I think it was a really good learning experience. I also learned to just trust that my body needs more sometimes and that it's not worth sticking to the plan. That doesn't mean I'm not an alternate day faster. That doesn't mean I'm not still on this journey. It just means that I'm doing this sustainably and I'm doing this to do the best for myself. And sometimes the best isn't always weight loss. Yes, that's the goal that we're trying to hit here, but it's not the only thing that matters. So sometimes fueling your body the way it needs to be fueled takes precedence over losing weight. And that, that is amazing. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how your fasting is going or just how your week is going because I love hearing from you guys. So thank you so much and I can't wait to see you on another one. Till then, bye for now.